The LG G6 has a glass back that can be slippery when your hands are sweating. A metallic frame runs around the phone which gives it a sturdy feel. As with the Samsung Galaxy S8, the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the back of the LG G6 can break, but its metallic frame allows better grip than the competitor's all-glass design. LG has used the same Univision technology as Samsung in the 5.7-inch display of the G6. In fact, chronologically speaking, LG was the first one to announce 18.5 is to 9 aspect ratio on its flagship. LG has used a Quad HD IPS panel on this one, with 564 ppi pixel density and excellent color balance. Touch response is also nice once you have removed the screen cover which comes pre-installed. The display also looks great but we would personally prefer better black levels. Talking about performance, we also agree with the fact that the Snapdragon 821 is a previous generation SoC. But then it is neither slow nor incapable. Having said that, we wish that LG would have done a better job in implementing the 821 SoC. Our review unit was littered with bugs from the start. Black screens and app crashes were all too common. While these are just bugs, we also found basic lags and stutters when launching apps or scrolling through interfaces. While the LG G6 manages heat quite efficiently, the phone is not the top flagship for gaming. GPU frequencies remain at about a third of the Adreno 530's full capacity. Frame rates are adequate, but average results remain quite low. So the LG G6 is behind competitors like the Galaxy S8 and Google Pixel in comparative terms. The 32-bit Hi-Fi Quad DSE makes a difference in terms of audio quality as long as you have good headphones. With the right headphones, you will enjoy watching movies or listening to music on this phone. There is a slight change in the camera this time. The LG G6 has two 13MP sensors on the back and one of these comes with a fisheye lens. The sensor on this camera has been bumped from 8MP to 13MP this time while the primary sensor drops from 16 megapixel to 13 megapixel. While you are usually going to use the cameras separately, using same resolution, Sony IMX258 sensors allows seamless zooming between the two this time. There is a button on the camera app that lets you switch from the regular camera to fisheye. Final image quality is great, just as it was last time. Colors are decently balanced, though not completely accurate, while sharpness and detail levels are quite good. Images are good in both low light and well lit conditions. Overall, the LG G6 has a decent camera, but here again, the Google Pixel, Galaxy S8, and iPhone 7 Plus are well ahead. As per our usage, the LG G6 is more battery efficient than many other flagships. The PC Mark test runs on just over 11 hours, while the phone manages to last for 14 to 16 hours on regular usage. The LG G6 is a decent flagship with a functional design and nice camera. It's really an adequate phone as far as flagships are concerned. The only problem is that flagships should be more than just adequate. It doesn't hold a candle to the Galaxy S8, but it has us excited for what the LG V30 will be if there is going to be one. Thank you for tuning into Digit and for more videos, subscribe to our channel.